Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and Apple has released iOS 17.2.1. Just days after releasing iOS 17.2 to the public, they released another update. Now, what's really interesting is that they have only released this update for iPhones. So there will be no iPadOS 17.2.1 which means that, and of course it indicates that this update will only fix problems on the iPhones and not other devices. And as we can see here from the update page, it only says that it provides important bug fixes and it doesn't say anything else. No security patches or stuff like that just bug fixes and this is really interesting this is probably the first time we had this happening but we're going to talk about this update page in a minute here let's first take a look at this update so basically i was 17.2.1 is a small update and of course it will come at a small size right there it's 224 megabytes of course it will be different on different devices and different based on which software you have currently installed on your iphone and the new build number for iOS 17.2.1 is 21C66. This is the new build number of this update. Now with iOS 17.2.1, a lot of users have also gotten an update for their carrier. So I need you to make sure that you check for your carrier update once you have updated your device to the new iOS 17.2.1. Now the way to do that is pretty simple. Just head onto your settings app, go to the general settings and just go to the about section. Just leave your device there on the about section for a couple of seconds. And if there's an update, it will pop up on the screen of your device. You don't need to do anything. It will be updated automatically. Now, as I said, this update is only focused on fixing problems with iPhones, fixing bugs that iOS 17 users are experiencing. One of them, which of course will not be for all users, but a lot of them have reported this, is the ability to actually sync your messages to iCloud manually. Now, if you have this enabled, this is a new feature of iOS 17.2, but it wouldn't actually allow you to sync them manually. It would just happen automatically. So now with the release of iOS 17.2.1, you will be able to actually sync your messages to iCloud anytime you want. There's also a fix for the weather widget. If you use the weather widget, on your iPhone, you know that when you go here to edit the widget, you will be able to pick the location which you want to display here. Now, previously on iOS 17.2 and even earlier on iOS 17, a lot of times it would actually show the wrong location. In this case, I picked New York, it would show a different location. This has happened and has been reported by a lot of users. And now it looks like it has been fixed with 17.2.1. Now, when I said that this update, this update page here of iOS 17.2.1 is really different from other ones, is that if you take a look at this update page here in English, it only says that this update provides important bug fixes and it's recommended for all users. But in other places like Japan, for example, if you took a look at the update page, it would say something different. So here we have the update page. Let's just translate it. And you will see now the result. This update includes important bug fixes that addresses issues that can drain the battery quickly under, under certain conditions. So it basically states that it has a battery fix within the update. And I believe this update should actually be the same for all iPhones, even though it doesn't state that it will fix the battery when it's in English, it does say it in Japanese and in Chinese, I believe as well. I believe that this should be the same update for all users. And even though it doesn't state that, it will most likely contain the same fix for every iPhone user. So that's why I recommend everyone to immediately update their device to iOS 17.2.1. Hopefully that fix will be on all devices in every region and it should give us better battery life with iOS 17.2.1. Now, of course, it's really interesting that this text is not appearing on every region. So let me know, guys, in the region that you're at, did you see this text or not on your update page? So basically, this is iOS 17.2.1. A few fixes only for the iphone not for the ipad of course no security patches just bug fixes within the device now 
we're probably done for this year now we'll we'll go into the holiday season i don't think apple is actually releasing any more updates this should be the last one for 2023 and the next one should be in 2024 at the beginning of january most likely here in the first 10 days we will get the second beta of ios 17.3 that should be the new update and most likely somewhere around here the beginning of february we'll get the public release of ios 17.3 so that's basically it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure to leave a like and of course subscribe for more and i'll see you on the next one